Hi everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Unbound. This is episode 27. If of course, as always, you're enjoying the series, please go ahead and drop a like on it for me. We're back with more post-game stuff. Like I said, I did some air quotes off camera stuff um, and I did what I said I was going to do. I decided to get that extreme hyper, whatever the fuck it's called, quite out of the way. The one where you have to show uh, basically like all the baby Pokemon that are breedable with incenses. So, you know, you got your Munchlaxes and your Hapinis and... Uh, you know, all, just all of those. Um, a lot of them you can catch in the wild, but then it gets to a point where you have to actually uh, catch the evolution, like Wobbuffet in the Safari Zone, uh, Snorlax in the post game, and then you got to breed them with the incense. And you can just buy the incenses from uh, that um, uh, the department store. Um, so yeah, I did that. I got that out of the way. And uh, we finally got our shiny charm. Um, so now that I have my shiny charm in hand, I hatched all 100 of those Scraggies. I mean, obviously I had to do that before I could breed, you know, Snorlax and get Munchlax and, you know, Chingling. I had to, I, I've already hatched all the Scraggies at this point. None of them were shiny. But now that I've got the shiny charm in hand, I felt a little bit better about my odds because my odds are a little bit higher. Uh, and yeah, lo and behold, I actually got the shiny Scraggy relatively fast. And um, I, of course, have since evolved it, EV trained it, the works. I also EV trained my Zygarde. But on top of that, uh, I was thinking about that quest that we need to do. It's not even a quest, it's just a battle. You know the Devil Duo? They want me to bring fighting types and dragon types and they have an entire team of Mimikyu's as far as I'm aware. So what I decided to do was breed myself a Haxorus. Haxorus uh, has Mold Breaker, which completely ignores Mimikyu's ability. So the plan is to go in with Haxorus, teach Haxorus Iron Tail, which you can do with uh, battle points, and just kind of like slap a Mimikyu or two, you know, maybe give it a Roselli Berry so it can live. I don't have everything, you know, worked out right right now, but I, I, I think as it stands, I've got like a decent team of six that we can use. I don't know. Scrafty's probably going to get slapped by the Mimikyu's, but I could I could get Intimidate on Scrafty and, and use that. It's, it's a really tough battle. And um, speaking of tough battles, I actually caught a Kangaskhan from the Safari Zone, bred four of them that are jolly with uh, the perfect IVs they need, and I EV trained them all, leveled them up to 100, and um, we're gonna try and do that Kangaskhan battle as well, because we literally only have two battles left to complete our trainer catalog, and they are ridiculously hard battles, and I think that's what we're gonna try and tackle today. So yeah, I grinded some battle points um, so I could afford uh, egg moves and move tutor moves on Scrafty and Haxorus, and I'm gonna have to uh, grind more battle points anyway because uh, one of the quests in this game is to obtain all the TMs and there are some TMs that are locked behind battle points. I think the battle point count that I need for the TMs is like 180 and you know you get two battle points after every single battle so it's really not that bad. Getting battle points in this game is really easy so that's what's going on today. I hope you're excited for today's episode. If you are again leave a like and uh, let's just get into it. Like I said though, Sh Shiny Scrafty is clean. He's uh, he's pretty close to pants colors. Yeah. Not, not really, <laughs> not much more close. I mean, it's just a nicer shiny Scrafty, okay? I just wanted to use a yellow friend. So yeah, I think the first order of business, uh, we need to teach these uh, Haxorus and Scrafty these, these move to our moves. And thankfully, because we did the uh, basic literary qu literacy quest, we can just teach move to our moves and egg moves from the comfort of our stat scanner. It's really fucking cool. So in terms, I think two our moves are, are better because like, uh, I think egg moves are just a flat 15. Yeah, there's like a flat 15. So, you know, if I want to teach Scrafty Dragon Dance, or no, is it, is it, I don't know what move, well, yeah, it's like Ice Punch. If I want to teach Scrafty Ice Punch as an egg move versus Ice Punch as a tutor move, Ice Punch as a tutor move is eight, whereas Ice Punch as an egg move is 15. It's really bizarre. So make sure you, you know, if there's a Pokemon that, you know, I guess if you're, if you're doing this yourself and there's overlap with egg moves and tutor moves, always do tutor moves. Unless the two remove is more expensive than 15, which I don't imagine is, is, is I don't think that's going to be the case. Uh, but I think Scrafty with knockoff would be good. Um, yeah, knockoff. Yeah, we'll, te we'll teach knockoff to Scrafty. We also do want to get Dragon Dance, which is an, a two remove, thankfully. Uh, we'll give Dragon Dance over Power Up Hit. And then I want Ice Punch. Again, eight battle points. Easy, I'll take it. So then Haxorus right here. Um, I did see if Haxorus could learn Iron Head. I don't think he can. I'm pretty sure he is... Ex yeah, I'm pretty sure it's exclusively Iron Tail, which is kind of crazy. I genuinely... The reason I started off with Haxorus 
Well, it's because I thought it got Iron Head, and but it doesn't. It's Iron Tail, which, I mean, is a stronger move, and we're probably going to be resetting a lot in this battle against the Mimikyus, so I don't... It's fine. Iron Tail works. I don't think there's any other moves I really want on him. Yeah, none of these really interest me. A lot of Mold Breaker mons actually are fighting and Dragon types. Like I saw Sock and Throw have Mold Breaker. I know Drudigan, I'm pretty sure, gets Mold Breaker. Like there's a lot of mons that can actually counter Mimikyu with Mold Breaker. But like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to just, oh my God. If I have to breed all those mons for, for this one battle, I will, but I don't want to if I can help it. Uh, so yeah, we went with Jolly Haxorus as well because it outspeeds Mimikyu by one base speed. So yeah, we need that. I don't even know if Haxorus can live a hit with a Roselli Berry. I'm just assuming it can. Uh, Scrafty here, I've, I've got no idea, man, if it's if it's gonna be useful in the battle. It might just be an Intimidate, an Intimidate Pawn, which if that's the case, I need a Dream Mist. Intimidate is literally, yeah, I've got Dream Mist. Intimidate is literally like one of the strongest abilities in the game though, so like, you know, I, I, rem I think I remember talking about how I'd rather have Moxie or Shedskin, but Intimidate is genuinely like one of the strongest abilities in the game. Like even on a, even on a mon like Scrafty, because like it allows me to come in, take a hit, set up a Dragon Dance, just drain punch some health back, you know, like it is genuinely like Moxie's nice because you get the stat buffs after every KO, but like actually setting up, it's much easier to do with Intimidate. This Zygarde moveset is the Zygarde set that we got when we, uh, I guess restored it or whatever, and I don't think there's really a better set for it. I don't believe it learns Dragon Dance or anything, so we're kind of just... I think we're running max speed, actually. Max speed, max attack, which might be silly. Maybe I should have run max HP. Eh, I don't know. It's not exactly a slow mon. It just will be when I start setting up coils. I, I don't know what's better for it. Either way, um, I think my first priority, though, is going to be that Kangaskhan battle. I'm going to come here to Cube Corp. This Kangaskhan battle, I'll be I'll be real with you. I have attempted it off camera just because I wanted to see how tough it was. It is really fucking hard, guys. I can't believe I have four Kangaskhans. I, I don't know like what the best plan of attack is. I've tried running Choppleberries. Like I maybe I just need to move to or up some Kangaskhans. Like maybe I need to maybe I need to invest in move to or which I don't want to do. But I mean, I will do it for one of them because it will be nice to have a like to have a good Kangaskhan. Um, oh, we get Wish, maybe Yawn would be good, like, uh, I don't, I don't know what the best, what the best, like, Reversal could be, like, like, maybe, like, Focus Sash Reversal Kangaskhan could be good, that, that would, that would do some damage. <sighs> there's Helping Hand, like, there's just so much that Kangaskhan can do, and I don't think running them all the same as the Wave, uh, maybe, like, even Counter would be good, Hammer Arm's an Egg move, I know one of the Kangaskhans that you face have a Hammer Arm. Yeah, like this one, I've given different different moves. Drain Punch, Power Up, Hit. The others just have Return, Drain Punch, Sucker Punch, Return, Drain Punch, Sucker Punch, Return, Drain Punch, Sucker Punch. Kangaskhan's hidden abilities in her focus. Okay. Yeah, so all the Kangaskhan's, uh, I, I've tried running Fake Out. Uh, yeah, these ones have inner focus, so it doesn't work. Yeah, let's just give it a shot, dude. I've been filming my latest movie, yada, yada, yada. Lights, camera, action. Yeah, so it's it's just Kangas versus Kangas. I can't imagine what this battle is like on Insane if I'm struggling this much. Like, it's just, I'm out of my comfort zone, man. And I don't really want to invest. Uh, I don't have any items on these Kangas right now. Let's just try and get information, I suppose. I'm going to Dream Punch the one on the right. I'm pretty sure the one on the right has uh, Choppleberry. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so Choppleberry on that one. Kangaskhan on the left has Dream Punch. Kangaskhan on the right has Hammer Arm. And just my, there, uh, right off the rip, my Kanga's dead. Um, maybe I want to power up hit the Kangaskhan on the right and then Dream Punch the Kanga. I don't, I, yeah, it doesn't even kill. The Kanga on the left is going to get Dream Punch off. It just does half my health. And then the Kanga on the right is going to Hammer Arm you up. Um, I guess I can Sucker Punch the Kanga on the right. Kill it. Dream Punch one on the left. Yeah, just take a shit ton of damage. Pretty sure this Kanga that comes in is uh, Mega. Yep, there it is. Mega Kangaskhan. Retaliate. Yeah, that's that's Rabs. Oh, it lived. Oh no, it's got the two hits. Fuck. Oh, that's so infuriating. I don't even know what to do about that. Yeah, okay, so she's running max speed Kanga as well. Like, it mu we must be speed tying. I'm, I wasn't sure if I should maybe run bulky Kangaskhans or not. I don't know what would have been better. I wanted to make sure I had a sped, right? So, Mega Kangaskhan doesn't oh it does actually go higher base speed it actually does move faster okay that makes sense oh uh, okay i mean regardless i'm fucked right if i wanted to run counter on one of the kangaskans for the mega but it's got like, a, a counter focus sash but it's got double hitting moves so like what do i even do about that um i can run choppleberries i've got plenty of choppleberries maybe this kanga power up hits the 
Choppleberry can go just to get an attack buff. And we have a Choppleberry of our own to live a hit. And then we just start drain punching with an attack buff. <sighs> My thing is investing like battle points into something that just doesn't work, right? Like a strat that doesn't work out. And the thing is, yeah, I'm always at a disadvantage because I don't have the Kangaskhan out. I don't even care about the Mega Kangaskhan stone. I literally just want to beat it for the completionist part of it. Um, shit. I think Cinderace has my Focus Sash. So, um, fuck it, dude. I'm gonna run Sash on one of them. I guess one of them can also run Band. Like Choice Band, Drain Punches might be might be worth it i don't know let's do for this one with the focus sash let's <sighs> endeavor maybe endeavor sucker punch would be good i don't know i can't tell what's more consistent endeavor sucker punch or just counter i think counter is probably better right yeah endeavor is more expensive than counter anyway all right let's just do counter instead of return okay so that one has counter ah see again endeavor as an egg move is cheaper than endeavor as a move to remove that's so weird how that works but that's just an example again this banded Kangaskhan, I feel like hammer arm is... <sighs> banded hammer arm just to kill a Kangaskhan would be good. Because we're just trying to kill them as fast as possible, right? But maybe it's worth it. Let's try running banded hammer arm. And then for this one again, actually, the, the one, this one right here. Let's run, let's get reversal on that. Let's drop drain punch. And then this, this last one, I'm not sure. Hmm, actually... Maybe we can run fake out on it. Maybe we can run fake out on these. So we learn fake out on this Kanga. This last one comes in and fakes out the um, the Mega Kanga. I'm not sure what item to give though. The thick clubs you'd work on Kanga Scan, right? Because Kanga Scan is just a, a big Marowak. Uh, let's just try a Citrus on it, man. Let's just let's just try Citrus Berry. Fuck it. Not sure what else to do. All right, we'll make this work. I spent battle points now, so there's no going back. I mean, they're easy enough to grind anyway, so I shouldn't be so stingy. Plus, I need to enter the hot fucking the thing 99 times anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna have to be there for the, the battle thing for a while. All right, let's remember our strat, okay? So this one is Choppleberry. This one is Focus Ash. Let's do Power Up Punch on the Choppleberry one, and then let's counter whatever comes our way. So we're gonna break the Choppleberry. Nice. I think these ones might not be jolly. I think the only reason that Mega Kang is gonna sped is because it's a Mega. So this one, Hammer Arms, okay? It doesn't quite kill. Drain punches the Kanga on the left. Chobleberry weakens it. Oh my god, that didn't weaken it by much though. We get the counter off. Kanga on the right's dead. I think Mega Kanga just came in. I want to drain punch the Kanga on the left. And then I'm just... I think I'm just... I'm just gonna... I don't know. I guess I'll just reversal. Double edges me, yep. Yeah. Get the reversal on the Mega Kang. Okay. Oh, it's called Martha. Okay. Kanga on the left, drain punches. All right. These last two Kangs. I'm gonna fake out the Mega Kangish Kan. And I guess just drain punch it. This is my banded Kang. So um, let's drain punch you and then let's drain punch you. Okay, banded Kang. Drain punch didn't do that much. Oh, it's running Rocky Helmet. It must be like max HP, max defense. Drain punch, ow. Circle throw, okay. Youch. Drain punch you. That Kang's dead. Oh, okay, Citrus Berry. Drain punch, fight. Pretty sure that Kang scan wins. Ah, uh, okay, we're close. We're close. Let's try this again. Okay, um, let's just... You know what, let's just, uh, let's just power up hit the one on the, uh, yeah, let's power up hit the one on the left and then let's just counter the, like, whatever. Hammer arms me. Oh my god, that hurt. Dream punches me, okay. Counter is gonna kill that Kangaskhan. The Mega is now on the left. Okay, interesting. Maybe we protect. Yep. Double edges into protect. Cool. We dream punch the mother Ma uh, Kangaskhan. Good. Hammer arm does take us out, but that's okay. We know the Kanga on the right is slow as fuck. So now we come in, fake out the mother, and then we... Let's just reversal the Kangaskhan on the right. Oh yeah, we didn't break its chopper yet. Reversal does fucking nothing. Hammer arms the Kangaskhan on the left. Oh, uh, not good, not good. Okay, let's just double sucker punch the mom. Mom's dead. Okay, all right, this is not looking good either. Banded hammer arm, doesn't quite kill. Follow up with a drain punch, does that kill? Nope, and that's one, that's, that's Kanga dead, okay. And we just lose, I just, oh my God, okay. I think we have the right idea. Let's just power up hit the Choppleberry one again. Let's just counter. Let's just keep it simple. One on the left dies. Cool. The one on the right is slower. Let's... I think the one on the left is going to be considered a threat, right? So let's just protect the one on the right. Nope. Yep, yep, yep. That makes no sense. Oh, I did not protect the one on the right. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's come in and let's fake out Martha. And then let's reversal Martha. Reversal doesn't really do that much. Oh my god, okay. This is going terribly. It's going terribly, but it's my winning attempt. I don't even know what I did there. I just started using hammer arm. That that was stupid. I I shouldn't. I don't know how I won that. I that was 
Okay, wonderful work out there today. For your performance, you have one of the, yep, thanks. Farewell trainer, I look forward to seeing you at the red carpet premiere. Oh my God, the cube received a notification. It says that a movie received a critic score of less than 30% on Rotten Tomato Berries. Oh well, it didn't hurt to help. <laughs> Oh my god, how the fuck? That was genuinely like my, my worst attempt yet, at least in my- I was ready to reset, I'm glad I just saw it to the end. Cool. Well, my shitty Kangaskhan strats worked. I'm not really sure which one is the best one to run as the Mega. I imagine this one is. Let's keep this one as the Mega. Because these other sets are just kind of janky. I mean, they are like perfect IVs and trained and stuff, but like, I don't really wanna... <laughs> I don't know, I don't wanna have them in the EV trained box, you know? I don't want fucking four Kangaskhans. All right, so now... My next order of business, which I'm nervous about now, is attempting to take on the Devil Duo. Um, we need fighting and dragon types, I think. Yeah, we've got a full team of that. Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's the best team. I really don't. But I'm not sure what else to do. They are the last trainers I need to face. Boros can learn Iron Head. That could be. I don't even think that's necessary. Boros's problem is being slow as fuck. If he can literally just like he can literally one tap mimic you with any move, it doesn't matter what move it is. But it's just the fact he's slow. So now I guess the biggest issue is what items do I run? I guess I run Banded Carbominable probably. It's like there's nothing else really to it. Sash Haxorus maybe. But then Mimikyu's probably got Shadow Sneak, so it's like I don't know. I'll try it. I'll try Roselli Berry Scrafty too. See if that helps. How many Roselli Berries do I have? I hope I've got multiple. 10, all right, that's that's fucking lit. Gudra, I don't think needs an AV for this. I think, again, Roselli Berry might just be the wave. Let's um, let's try Roselli Berry and everything, just for now. We just gotta outpace them. Like, I just have to like KO like two Mimikyu's with one, like with, because the Mimikyu basically has like 12 lives. So it's like facing 12 Mimikyu's. I just need to be able to, uh, is there anything Gudra could learn? Like, do you learn like Iron Head or anything Gudra? Iron Tail? Uh, anything but where could learn maybe? Like, no, Iron Head, he learns Iron Head, but like, yeah, that's probably necessary. Yeah, let's get rid of Superpower. Oh wow, he actually can learn Dragon Dance, but it's by two, oh, I need more Battle Points. Okay, he actually can learn Dragon Dance though. Hmm. I got one Battle Point, that's fine. All I have to do is win like four of these and I've got enough battle points to get Dragon Dance. All right, fuck Coil. Dragon Dance is my best friend. All right, extremely nervous for this, but we'll give it a shot, man. I just, honestly, I think my biggest thing is I just don't want to have to breed like an entire like counter team, like six fucking hacks races with Iron Tail or something. Like, ah, uh, that just sounds like a nightmare. I don't want to do this an unfun way. So our play is to lead Intimidate Scrafty. Yep. Mold Breaker, so we don't care about their fucking ability. Intimidate Scrafty comes in. Uh, to be honest, I think I just knock off one of them. And then I Iron Tail the one on the right. We land it. Straight up. It lives? It's Is it running Sash? Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Um, why did you live that? I'm just gonna Earthquake. Okay, Scrafty's got this one on the left. Uh, I'm just gonna Iron Tail. Yeah, it just go, it goes through, right? Taunt. Okay, knock off. This one's dead. The one on the right's bulking up. Like, these are, these are so weird. So Scrafty dies through Roselli Berry, but I guess it was bulked up. Um, I think this is where everything falls apart, to be honest. It, it, yeah, it lets Snuggles forever, Swayco, and he dies. Boros dies. We have Roselli Berries too. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just tough. Like, even Bowera speeds. It's strange. All right, let's give this another shot, I suppose. Um, I guess I'll just Dragon Dance. And then uh, again, I'll, maybe I should just, I don't know. Maybe I run Lumberry on Haxorus and just Iron Tail. Well, the Iron Tail oco this time, so I guess it's just a low roll. Okay, I'm going to now knock off this Mimikyu, and I'm going to Iron Tail this one. Does Iron Tail oco? It does oco. Knock off, get rid of the skies. Mimikyu's gonna taunt the Scrafty, that's okay. No, ha taunted Haxorus. Okay, um, knock off this Mimikyu, and then Iron Tail this one. Iron Tail's landed three times in a row, I'm lucky. It lives with a, with a Citrus. Knock off, okay. It loves taunting, this one's bulking up now. We're looking good, we're looking good. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, I literally have to keep attacking. I maybe should have earthquaked. Iron Tail's gonna miss here. Yeah. Maybe if you play roughs, it's gonna Oko. That's fine. Okay. Maybe I should swap Scrafty out, I'm not sure. I'm gonna earthquake. That didn't even kill one of the Mimikyu's, holy shit. This is the one with the Z move. Oko's beware. Motel lives, which is reassuring. See, Gudra doesn't even do much. Gudra's kind of a sack more than anything. Yeah, like, I... All right, we're close. I can feel it. We Dragon Dance with Scrafty, and then we just slap Iron Tails. We just have to hope Iron Tail kills, which it didn't, so we reset. Wait, hold on. Does Haxorus learn, like, Hone Claws? Do I even have Hone? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, my God, wait. All right, hold on. We might be onto something here. Knock off this 
Bone claws. Hey, you burned Scrafty. That's okay. Knock off again. And then I'm going to Iron Tail this Mimikyu. Dead. Knock off this one again. Iron Tail, dead. This Mimikyu on the left staying alive is actually good because it doesn't do anything. Knock off the one on the left. Iron Tail, dead. Nice. Nice. Play rough kills. That's okay. Oh my god, wait. Holy shit, I took out. Oh my god, wait. Iron Tail, kills. Dude, I'm such a genius. <laughs> Iron Tail kills. And then lastly, Iron Tail kills. We missed, that's, wait, no. Oh, it's got a berry. That's fine. It burns me, that's okay. Power Web got rid of the disguise. It's dead. You're fucked. Oh my God, holy shit. Yo, that Haxorus came in clutch, let's go. Yo, Haxorus, I got respect for you, homie. Seems my earnings was not necessary. Indeed, you were prepared. Ah, uh, yes I was. For your wonder of display, I bell, I'll, I'll bell prowess I confer upon you the special Z crystal, okay? The Mimic Z can use to activate Mimic Z to remove. Um, upgrading is play rough. Is that all you have to say to me? Whew. Guys, I fucking deserve that. I deserve that dub. I deserve that dub. All right, looks like you left uh, no survivors among the trainers of Boreas. For that, you get a Latiosite. <laughs> wow, cool. I have a feeling that if you bring a certain Pokemon alongside that Latiosite uh, to a place where only the strongest can go, you may be approached by something powerful. Okay, interesting. Given you all can give, you exceed my expectations. Animations complete, now we'll just have to account for bonus. Well, no survivors indeed, my word. Most of these missions are just like legendary things now, and I'm just like, oh my god, I just, ugh. We also do have to build teams for the Hero of the Hall. You are my only. Yeah. Oh my god. Being the Pokemon League with only one Mon? Hmm. I just don't know what to tackle next. I thought I was going to take a lot longer to beat those. Yeah, there's a lot of like things I need to do, so I think uh, I'm going to prepare for, I guess, whatever is to come next in the post game. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with me and being patient. Uh, go ahead and drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Um... <sighs> God, I just, there's so much, there's so much to do. There's, there's the TMs and there's the portal, but oh, there's just so much to do. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll, I'll catch you in the next one.